even though there's been so much of international attention, within the country there hasn't been very much that people are doing. My name is Divya Karnad and I'm from India and I'm a shark conservationist. When growing up in India, I lived in a coastal city and as you can imagine, India is very crowded. So um, to get away from the crowd, I would always go to the beach. And on the beach, I found all this wonderful wildlife, starting with sea turtles, which lived on the land and in the sea, and then finally moving on to the animals that lived in the sea, like sharks. So uh, my passion and enthusiasm came from uh, seeing them all those years ago when I was a student and then increasingly seeing more and more of them dead. And I wanted to ensure that that doesn't happen anymore and at least the future generations can still get to see these animals alive. So India is the second largest harvester of sharks in the world after Indonesia. So we catch among the most sharks in the world. And because of this, uh, there's been a severe crackdown on the number of sharks. Uh, internationally, there's been a lot of pressure on India to try and reduce the amount of sharks that are being caught. But unfortunately, even though there's been so much of international attention, within the country, there hasn't been very much that people are doing. Many people are not even aware that many sharks are threatened or endangered. My project is trying to address this uh, by working with fishermen, not only trying to educate them, but also trying to improve uh, the seafood supply chains to make the entire system more sustainable. So um, I'm trying to work with fishermen to create alternatives to sharks and shark products so that they can continue to have a livelihood while saving sharks. As conservationists, we tend to look at the problem and think about the solution as being something that needs to um, happen in the same location as the problem or within the same kind of ecosystem as the problem. But usually, uh, the solution has multiple layers and uh, I think it's really important that we look at uh, the entirety of the issue and try to solve uh, the whole thing because otherwise you end up with uh, very short-lived solutions and we are looking for something that's long-term. So a lot of my work is based on increasing awareness, uh, reaching out to people from fishermen to chefs and restaurants and seafood consumers. So the kind of attention that I've got as a result of Future for Nature has been amazing and it's been something that has really brought this whole issue into the spotlight within India. The kind of attention that I've got from these restauranteurs and uh, from the seafood consumers has really pushed this agenda and I'm so happy about that. If you want to hear more about the award winners from 2019, you can watch their videos here. <laughs>